Hi guys, it is February 14, 2019. Boy, oh boy, are we a mess. We are a collective mess. So I get in my car and I turn on the radio. What do I hear? Mulan, Trump, Russia, dossier, steal, impeachment, build the wall, impeachment, build the wall, impeachment, Trump, Mueller, Russia, Russia, dossier. Oh, I see a tweet, I don't know, two days ago, Trump, my rally bigger than your rally, my rally bigger than yours. Uh, it, okay, you know, it's unfortunate that we have been infantilized. That has been part of the social engineering, and I certainly saw it very clearly in the early 80s when suddenly these commercials were, it seemed that suddenly commercials, they were adopting this cartoon, this this cartoon for adults, selling them products. Uh, um, but now you can really see it because adult men, you know, when I go to visit this uh, this neighbor, in the apartment complex where I lived and she's always watching TV and I'm watching it and I'm thinking, Oh, it's frightening. It's so, it's so frightening. And that's when I feel most embarrassed to be an American. Oh my God, the social engineering, can they not see through this? But every show that I've seen, um, that she has on, uh, the men, the people, the, the 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 characters, are so unbelievably immature. These commercials, I mean, how did they make these commercials? Uh, these people in you know um, advertising, do they sit around and think up the most inane thirty second commercial with? Things that just don't make sense. Like you see two adult men who are acting like they're in fifth grade in a car. It's about a candy bar. And then suddenly the driver of the car opens the door and flings his body out. It has nothing to do with the candy bar. It's all about social engineering, the American people. Why do you think we have so many immature adults? Unfortunately, TV programming, programming, that word programming, they program behavior into Americans. Men, especially, are portrayed as doofuses. This guy is a doofus. He's a ninth grade bully who is such a narcissist. He's constantly talking about how great he is. But for any Trump supporter to see these guy, this guy's tweets and not feel like, oh, that you're not embarrassed? My rally bigger than yours. All right. I see an article, most Americans, one serious illness away from bankruptcy. That was yesterday. I get an email from a subscriber. It starts with, boy, am I pissed. She and her husband moved from one state to another state. The move was quite costly. She learned that she cannot deduct moving expenses anymore. Uh, military personnel can, government workers apparently can, but ordinary Americans, those deductions no longer available. I've been hearing that from independent contractors, especially what they could deduct, they no longer can, and it's hurting them. All right, I'm going to go through some some 
Well, like I have done so many times before, I have a Trump playlist. And for some reason, those who have been subscribers of mine for years, I thought they were out of the matrix and they're not. They're right there. It was like we were all on the same side when Obama was in office. Trump comes in office. Now we have an awful lot of division. So what I have seen is just like the liberal progressives who would not accept anything that put this guy in a bad light. They didn't care about the truth. They were a team member and they were supporting their leader. Now we have the an awful lot of the awake crowd supporting their team leader and most do not want to hear how these two guys are the same. So this article, um, five ways that Trump is no different than Obama. My God, there are so many. Uh, and I've posted it. He filling the swamp, um, no different. He, his appointments, who heads the federal agencies, those who are implementing Agenda 2030 and the Paris Accord Agreement. You know, it's, I'm sorry. At this point, there were so many subscribers that I have known and I really did think that they were able to see through the hey, the leader of the free world is saying something. Maybe we should check out if what he is saying is actually true. They're not doing that. That really pisses me off. Because if there was ever any possibility of uniting here, you know, with the quote-unquote awake crowd, and all of the division that was occurring and with increasing amounts of division year after year, Trump comes in, boom, a whole lot of division. Okay. Um, no different. Gun bans, continuing war, Russian conflict. Saudi Arabia curtsying and continuing effort to cover up 9-11. How about the Kennedy and King assassination, the records, the files? Trump boasted he was going to open them when it came down to it. Oh, sorry, I can't. So I don't, I know James Corbett uh, posted on this. I haven't seen anybody else, but there is a call for the Kennedy and King family members and advisors. They are calling for Congress to reopen the assassination probes. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Robert, and Jack Kennedy. Truth and reconciliation. Wow, wouldn't that be a real... <laughs> Uh, breath of fresh air. But I would venture to say, baby boomers, as we watch these guys get shot down, and the Warren Commission, just like the 9-11 Commission, throws out lies. Don't you think the truth is important? Of course it is important. Yes, it is important. But for most Americans, they don't give a shit about the truth. Who cares? I'm living fine. Now, a lot of those Americans stopped living fine. They went over the edge. More and more will be going over the edge. If we can't get to the truth, we are gone, dead. All of us. Baby boomers especially don't care.
I'm not talking about every everyone in every group. I am talking about the majority in every group. There does not seem to be much care for truth. And did I say, you know, the subscriber that wrote me, I have to say I have a lot of respect for a Christian who is about the truth. And this is not, you know, that uh, sentimental Christian. She is, has an awful lot of emotion that she expresses about Christians who are not fighting the evil, but it's not so much about the money. They have the money in terms of, you know, the deducting moving expenses. It's about the principle. It's about Trump said this, and now this is happening. So the guy's lying. That's not right. It's simple. It's clear. You can diagnose virtually every problem that we have that we're facing. Simple three letter word lie and that's why I get really incensed that it does not seem like we have a whole lot of Americans who care about anything I would like the truth to come out about these assassinations you know, a couple of years ago uh, a trial the verdict came down Government involved, Martin Luther King's uh, assassination. Not a peep from Americans. When you cannot get any resolution to your problems, Mueller, Trump, Russia, dossier. How long? How long do we have to listen to this? When you cannot resolve the problems in a society, they get worse and worse and worse. We're living real bad worse right now. With the lying, the immaturity, the uh, depravity that we see all over the place. Look, you know, oh, sorry, can't open those files. You know, this guy. He's, he's lied to you over and over again, and I'm embarrassed for you because you are so being played and you just don't see it. Trump supporters. Wife of White House communications chief goes on anti-vaccine tirade. This woman, wife of Bill Shine, Darla Shine, lashed out against a CNN segment detailing this measles outbreak in the Pacific Northwest, um, which has seen more than 50 unvaccinated people contract measles. Measles in Washington State and Oregon, oh my God. So she wrote, here we go, LOL, measles outbreak on CNN, fake hysteria, uh, all the hashtags. Uh, she tweeted, the entire baby boom population alive today had the measles as kids. Bring back our childhood diseases that keep you healthy and fight cancer. I had the measles, mumps, chickenpox as a child, and so did every kid I knew. She went on to claim, adding, sadly, my kids had the MMR, so they will never have the lifelong natural immunity I have. Come breathe on me. Okay. So she's, you know, of course, getting... An awful lot of backlash. How dare she say that? Well, baby boomers, this is what we lived, okay? Now we're not living. Now we're living an entirely new reality constructed by incredibly evil people. And the new reality is forced upon the younger generations. Do you care about that? What have we heard from Trump? What have we heard from Trump on 
vaccines. Why hasn't Trump come out and supported this woman? If he has, drop a link below in the comment section. Where the hell is Trump when he campaigned over and over and over again? Vaccines. I will establish a vaccine safety commission. We will look into this issue. Where is he on that? Build the wall. Build the wall. I will tell you the first thing is you get your nation healthy again. But you want to focus on that wall as if it's, you know, and I've said over and over again, that wall, you ain't going to be seeing it. All right. So the economy, I see no way out living paycheck to paycheck is disturbingly common. Great economy, isn't it? Worst retail sales drop in nine years. Is every bit as bad as it looks. Great economy. You heard your narcissistic president. I'm great. The economy has never been so good. Americans are back at work. That's all you needed. Now, this is, I'm not going to uh, unblock this, but record 7 million Americans are three months behind in car payments, which means they're going to have those cars repossessed. It's a red flag for this fabulous economy that Trump somehow miraculously turned around in six months. More stores are closing. More stores are closing. We have empty malls. We've got almost no mom and pop stores anymore. Americans, very difficult for them to start businesses. And if they actually have the capital to start the business, it soon closes. So 749 Gymboree, I don't know what these stores are, Shopco, Charlotte Russe, uh, and we're going, we're moving more and more. People are shopping. I see the Amazon Prime truck come through every single day now into this apartment complex. People shopping online. It gets delivered by Amazon. Soon enough, it will be delivered by robots. Americans, you're going to be 80%. Now, 80% of jobs will be handed over to robots in the near future. So, when you think about Trump, and oh my God, Carol, Americans are back at work. Are you really kidding me? So you believe all of those uh, monthly figures. Oh, Trump administration creates how many jobs? 300,000 jobs. Do you believe those figures? Have you looked into the jobs, service sector jobs? Why do you think, why do you think that we have now Professors, real estate agents, farmers, business executives, computer programmers, programmers, store clerks. Why do you think they have this in common? Because the economy's good and those jobs are fabulous? They're millennials, Gen Xers, baby boomers. They work in big cities and rural towns. They've uh, tried to save, but rent, childcare, student loans, medical bills get in the way. Four in ten adults say they couldn't produce $400 in an emergency without sliding into debt or selling something according to 2017 figures. Worst retail sales in nine years. But no, the economy is doing great and Trump is... He's fighting the deep state, and he's doing all he can. I'm sick of it, guys. Feds collect record in individual income taxes. You know, it's like every, every quarter I see feds collect 
record taxes. How is that possible when Americans more and more are struggling financially? Well, the taxes is one of the reasons why they are struggling financially, but then I think, well, most Americans are really scared of the IRS. They fork it over somehow. But, oh, okay. Average tax refunds fall. Oh, boy. So, deductibles, gone. Tax refunds fall. You're not going to be getting as much as you think you will be. And guess what? Amazon, second year in a row, pays no federal income tax. Do you think your leaders represent you? Trump among those leaders? Really? You know, I, I'm going to read some of this. The great GOP tax cut heist a year later. Trump promoted GOP scam was all about benefiting corporate interests and high net worth households. Big business gained hundreds of billions of dollars. Um, thousands got pink slips. Federal deficit is ballooning by over a trillion dollars annually. Oh right, didn't Trump also say just what they all say? I will reduce the deficit as they increase the deficit. But uh, social benefits slash to help pay for the tax cuts, a transparent wealth transfer scheme. Now, analyzing the tax cut scam a year later, Americans for Tax Fairness said the following. Corporations were the big winners. So were high net worth households. Sold as a boon to the disappearing middle class, cuts primarily benefited the wealthy. By 2027, when the law is fully implemented, 83% of the tax cuts will go to the top. 1% little was done to end profit, profit shifting to offshore tax shelters. According to the Congressional, Congressional Budget Office, about $300 uh, annually is moved abroad to avoid taxes. Um, corporations will accumulate offshore earnings cut, got, sorry, got a tax cut over 400 billion, 400 billion on those profits. The GOP legislation encourages offshore of U.S. jobs and production by taxing foreign profits of American companies at half the rate on domestic earnings. The so-called small business tax cut has gone mostly to wealthy owners of big firms. Most owners of pass-through businesses, uh, partnerships, and S corporations are now generally allowed to exclude 20% of their business income from taxation. By 2024, 60% of the tax breaks will go to America's 1%. The weakened estate tax widens the wealth gap David Stockman estimates the great GOP tax cut heist will increase the federal debt to around $35 trillion by 2028. Today it's $22 trillion, rising exponentially. Uh, Mnuchin lied, claiming the tax cuts would pay for themselves. Of course, of course, all you hear are lies coming out of Trump, coming out of all of these people. Yeah, the tax cuts will pay for themselves through increased economic growth, generating more tax revenues from lower rates. Stores closing. Retail sales down. Americans, one one medical emergency from bankruptcy. The GOP plan for checking the spiral spiraling debt is by cutting social services for ordinary Americans, notably Medicare, Medicaid, 
Social Security. Increased corporate profits went mostly to shareholders and corporate executives, not workers. Trump lied, saying corporate America would use the windfall tax breaks by giving the average U.S. household a $4,000 pay raise, showering workers with bonuses, along with generating massive investments. A year later, corporations are mostly using their actual and anticipated tax cuts and their rising profits to buy back their own stock, which principally further enriches wealthy shareholders and top corporate executives. Contrary to Trump's promise, worker wages are getting no boost from the tax cuts. Only 4.4% of them received a monetary benefit ascribed to the measure. I will link below. You can read the entire, uh, the in entire article. Last week, the IRS said around 30 million U.S. taxpayers will owe the agency money. Three million more than before the GOP tax cut. Polls show most Americans know they were scammed. Benefits gotten are too meager to matter, and it gets worse. Millions of U.S. workers expecting tax refunds either aren't getting them or will receive much less. Last April, Trump falsely said not only will Americans save a lot of money, but the filing process will be simplified <laughs> on one page, one card. You'll have a nice, simple form next year. This will be the last year under the old system. So take pictures of it and enjoy it. This is the last time you'll have to file a very complex and big tax form. It will be much easier starting next April. Tax code changes made things more complicated, along with ordinary Americans benefiting little from the great GOP tax cut heist. We do not have two parties. We have one party. And they, boy, are playing you when you should have the awareness that you are being played. Yes, the GOP slash dem deal spends 40 times as much on foreign countries. The GOP and the Democrats deal the budget. They spend 40 times as much on foreign countries as that border wall that you all so want built. Forty times more going to foreign countries. So, I'm going to do a video on this. The new budget. Five insane provisions in the Amnesty Omnibus Bill. And you know what? This bill, 1,169 pages. They're ramming it through Congress so no one can actually read it and analyze it and study it. But who cares? Because these representatives do not represent Americans. They represent corporations, and corporations are behind writing these bills. All of it. So, when they vote on legislation, do you know they're not reading it? Republicans and Democrats. You see, there's no way out of this hell if so many people are still so stuck in this matrix play, this staged play that they watch coming out of Washington, D.C. The Democrats, the Republicans, Trump, they're all playing their role. And now because it's so obvious, 
It really is. It's sad to see so many quote unquote awake people falling for it. So if you want to read this prior to my posting a video on it, that wall of yours, God, you've been so played. All links are below, including this. But I think this deserves its own video. But all links are below in the description box. I really do hope that those who have their beliefs that they are doing the work necessary to make sure their beliefs are not preventing them from seeing the truth. How do you get there? You've got to reevaluate all of your beliefs. And you've got to work on your confirmation bias. You've got to go listen to, read articles that don't jive with your belief. And check out if what they are saying is the truth.